Riff to Black Dog is based around A pentatonic minor. Now it's essentially a four bar riff, but the timing's uh, kind of interesting here. What we actually have is a bar of 6 4, then we'll have two bars of 4 4, then there's a bar of 5 4. But I'll talk about the timing of that once we've kind of looked at the riff. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is this. Okay, so we kick it off here. Our third finger is going to play 7th fret the A string. Then I'm going to play 5, 6, 7 on the D string with my 1st, 2nd and 3rd fingers. Now this point here, what you can do is you can bar the D and A string, so you're going to go back to the 7th fret of the A string there. So what I have is this, and I'm kind of rolling from the D to the A string. That way I'm, you know, I'm keeping the 3rd finger at that 7th fret there. Another way you can play it is when you get the 5, 6, 7. You can use your middle fing finger or second finger there to play uh, the seventh fret of the A string. Okay. Once I've done that, I go to fifth fret of the G string with my first finger. Then I put a little quarter note bend on that, which makes it so much more bluesier. And then I end it third finger seventh fret D string. So the opening bit goes. Okay, the next bit, okay, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to the 7th and 9th fret now on the G string. I play the 7th fret on the G string with my 1st finger, 3rd finger plays 9th fret of the G string, and then I go down 2 frets, so my 1st finger is at the 5th fret G string, and I'm going to hammer to 7, back to 5 with a pull off using the 3rd finger, so it goes... Okay, and then I end it by playing 7th fret of the D string twice. Okay, so that bit goes... And the very end of that bar we have a... So what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be doing a little quarter note bend again, 1st finger, 5th fret G string. And I end it by playing 7th fret of the D string. So that whole bit together goes... And if I put that together with the first bit, we have... Okay. And the very, very last bit goes... Okay, so what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to play 5 in the D string my first finger. My third finger plays 7th fret of the D string twice. Then I play 5, 7 in the A string with my first and third finger. Then I go down two frets and play third and fifth fret with the first and third fingers in the A string. And then I play an open A power chord. So I'm batting here at the second fret of the D and G strings with my first finger. And I'm going to play open A string and the D string. Okay, so that bit goes. So if I put all that together, we have... Faster. As I mentioned, there's something interesting going on with the timing here. What you have is almost like a, um, a kind of question answer thing going on with Robert Plant singing. He kind of sings for essentially uh, 16 beats, and then the riff comes in half a beat later and starts. <laughs> on an upbeat there. What we're actually doing is you've got um, three bars of 4-4 four, four, and then a bar of 6-4. So for the the 12 beats over the three bars of 4-4, four, four, Robert Plant singing, and then we have four beats of our 6-4 when Robert Plant finishes his phrase. And just as he finishes his phrase, we have a half beat rest and then we come in. Now actually in the recording you can hear a little, um, if you listen really carefully you can hear a little uh, either a little drumstick hit or something which obviously was a little kind of marker for the band to know when to come in. But when you're counting it, 
you can kind of go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so I'm counting four banks of four, then having a little half beat rest before I start the riff. And that's how you can count it when you chain all the bits together. <laughs> 